I, I don't mean this to be to be a dramatic thing in any way, but here we are. I don't know if my opinion really matters on the current Sony debacle. Just because, well, the content that I make is more on corny weapon review videos, so yeah. And also, there's no way to do this without looking like a content creator trying to milk out content, but here we are. Anywho, I know there are people out there who are saying, hey, this has been a thing for a lot of games, like Rockstar, Ubisoft, yada yada. And they agree, it's not really new. Sony has a past of being breach, but that was a while ago. So, you know, it it deserves to be given the benefit of a doubt, at least for me. I'm sorry for those who were there to experience it. I can't really say anything in behalf of you guys, because that's your experience. But this is from my perspective. I know there are a lot of other issues on why a lot of people are against it, but I guess you already heard that from others. Now, my biggest issue about this is that we can't legally make PSN accounts, okay? Now, you can say that, hey, just make a PSN account and put your country as Singapore or Hong Kong or whatever the hell. But that's promoting, you know, making false information. And also, also, you are subjected to Sony's TOS. And if they decide to ban you, and I'm not saying that they certainly will, you have no excuse. You can't make a complaint because, well, you actually falsified your information. Recently, I just saw on Twitter that a Chinese player who made a PSN account via VPN and he just got banned. Now, who's to say that if we do the same, this won't happen to us? I've seen a lot of people, especially in my region's Helldivers community, saying that they already have an existing PSN account for years, which they made using a VPN with a different country and in information. <laughs> They're also saying that we are just crying for no reason because they did that and there were no consequences. But I don't know, man. I just don't feel comfortable knowing that I might get banned just because I falsified info but maybe that's just me and it, it, it doesn't feel right I don't know and fuck me for trying to keep things legal you know I don't know also I've seen this uh, complaints where people are saying this has been a thing on day one they just didn't implement it that as hard because because of the server issues and stuff but if this was actually a thing why would they sell hell divers to to regions where PSN is not available. You know what I mean? Because games have been doing this. Like me, uh, I Lost Ark got released globally uh, a few years back, but we couldn't play it because in our region, Lost Ark was not available. We did the same thing. We used a VPN, made yeah, all those stuff just to try it out. But in the first place, it wasn't available for us anyway. So you can't really say that Hey, it wasn't in the first place. You should have done this or or that, yada yada. So for Hell Divers too, they should have, you know, if it was actually a thing that they actually have to be strict about, they shouldn't have sold Hell Divers to to other regions that don't have PSN available for them in the first place. But I don't know. <laughs> like, who am I to say? I'm not any lawyer. I'm not. I'm not a lawyer. But that's just that's just my two cents about that matter. The saddest part for me is that it took me a while to convince my buddies to get on the game. We live in a third world country and the game is not cheap. They just started a week ago and they are already invested just in too deep. Like they are more addicted than me in, at this point. Every time they hop off school, uh, they hop off work, it's always Helldivers time. Because Helldivers is a fun time. No toxicity, uh, slapstick comedy, and you know, I, I really don't need to sell how good Helldivers is. But this Sony bullcrap just really fucks it up, man. Like, the reviews right now, it doesn't take a genius to look at the reviews right now and say that this, the community is not happy. I am still hoping that they'll do something about this. 
We still have at least a month before this goes live, so here's to trying to stay positive and hope that they find a solution that works for both parties, but personally, I can't think of one. And if this actually happens, will I keep on playing the game? I might, I might, I might. I might try making a PSN account with a false address, but if I might get banned, well, then it's fucked all. It's fuck all. There goes my money, I guess. But, you know, I just feel bad for my friends, really. And for all those who scrape money to get this game. And don't at me saying, maybe they shouldn't have bought it if they couldn't afford me. Like, uh, aff afford it. Like, that is dumb. Like, even though you can't afford a game, it doesn't change the fact that it's expensive. At least from our perspective. But, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the matter. I want to hold the hands of my fellow Helldivers who are subject to getting gate kept from the game just because a region can make PSN accounts. <sighs> also, we won't be able to refund the game since we already spent so much time so much time and they haven't seen any video that you know that says that it's you will be able to or any announcement for that matter that you will be able to refund the game if that happens. I don't know how they're going to proceed with this. I also haven't seen any video that says that it directly affects the region and that is the main reason why I made one. As a content creator who's starting out and decided to to cover Helldivers 2 as as the game to make videos about, <laughs> this, this just feels bad man. Like I just started out to make like corny videos or try at least try to be funny about weapon reviews. Uh, I might just start having I might just start having to look for another game to cover and I know a lot of you guys who are sub to this channel you are here for hell diversity content and I feel bad for you man like I know it's easy to unsub and just go and go to another channel and whatnot but I just feel bad that you guys actually that, that there there might be others there that are saying hey we want to see more hell diverse content from this guy so I feel bad for you and well personally i feel bad that i can't make those kinds of videos if that ever happens anyways that's enough yip yapping here's to hoping it doesn't get worse um i might be overreacting i hope to god that i am just overreacting and that, that the community is overreacting i really hope that all of us uh that most of us are wrong about this stuff so yeah uh anyways see you guys around